If you fly micro drones, race gates can make it even more fun, especially if the gates have lights. I wanted some micro drone gates, so I looked around and was surprised by how expensive they are, especially for ones with lights. And a lot of them seem just a little too small for some of my friends to have fun flying through. This is a small series of videos showing how I built some LED light race gates for really cheap, starting around $4 for gates with single color LEDs and starting under $6 for gates with RGB LEDs. There will be multiple videos showing different parts and variations of gates I designed and made. Another way you can mount one of these gates is with some chip bag clips. I got two of them plus some extra small ones at Walmart in a little set together for one dollar. So it's quite inexpensive. You need two of the bigger ones and they need to be wide enough to clip onto whatever you want. Take the side of the tube where the twine is going to be contacting it. Take a file and just start putting marks in the tube. The tube is really slippery so the twine isn't going to hold onto it. If you take the corner of the file, it'll dig gouges in. Do that a number of times in different spots around the parts where the twine is going to be attached. That's roughed up enough. Take the bag clip. It's going to go here, so the twine's going to go around this side of the bag clip. We'll do the same thing. We'll take the file and we'll cut these little teeth in there. It makes grooves for the twine to sit in to keep the twine from sliding off of this part here. That's good enough. So now we need to take some of this. I would recommend starting with a slip knot. Tie a knot around the part of the string that's coming into the loop. Pull that up tight on there. That's on there pretty solid. Now I can take that and just start wrapping the string around both of these really tight. Keep good pressure on the loops and try not to make the loops go really diagonal. That'll loosen up later. Try to keep it fairly straight. I'm sure that's good. It's not really sliding around. Cut the twine. There. This part's a little tricky. I'd back it out just a little bit there. Ideally, you want to slide it around the wrap that's already there. All this wrap part, you want to wrap it around that. Sometimes spinning something as you're sliding it through can help. Looping it around this pulls this tight, which pulls all of these tight around the clip and the tube. There we go. Loop it around a few times, and pull it really tight. Eventually you want to get it to where you can tie a knot here. There's not really a good way that I've found to make that really tight. I don't know, I just usually do a few small knots to hold it together. It's now on there quite tight, doesn't want to slide up and down. Now this can hook to all kinds of places that you may not have thought about putting a racing gate before. Now you can attach the gate in all kinds of random places. This little bag here is a bag that comes around sheets that you buy at Walmart. It can be used to hold all the extra wiring and battery for the gate. Just drop it in the bag and you can hang the bag on the clip. Make sure to watch part two that explains how to build the LED hoop. There are more videos in this series that explain how to build other types of LED race gates, so make sure you go check those out too. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.